So a few people struggle to figure out how to add a contact page goal submission in Google Analytics. I'm gonna tell you how to do that in a really fast and easy way. So the first thing you wanna do is go into Google Analytics and make sure that your Google Analytics is in fact tracking. Um, if you need to learn that, let me know in the comments. I'll send you another video. Otherwise, you can go to the admin section of Google Analytics, and then you can go to new goal, and then you would say uh, contact us, and then continue, and then it's going to take you through this flow. So this contact us flow, and the reason why I just popped back is because I had already created it. And then you'll want to go to contact us and it's a destination goal. So I'm going to give you a, a sort of look of what that looks like on Shopify by default. So here is, um, I'm going to write, and it's best practices if you're going in and testing stuff that you always write test or you have some sort of uniform nomenclature throughout your organization so that everyone knows that hey we can easily remove every single contact from from like the analytics if it says test or something like that so be sure i just did my real name plus test and then uh, test message so when you click this send message you see that the url goes to challenge and then contact form like this and then i'm not a robot and then submit and the submission confirmation message comes here and as you saw this base url never changes the only thing that changed there is these params after the contact us page so if you go into google analytics and you say okay here are my goal details i'm just going to say equals to this and then you know then you actually it's not going to work so instead what you want to do is do regular expression so the url contains contact posted true i normally don't put in a value on my contact because it doesn't have any value for me as an e-commerce retailer in this case um, and then I always turn on my funnels just because it, it's, it helps me see if there's some sort of issue where people are dropping off. So step one, contact page. Step two, contact form. And step three, contact posted true. So then we can verify the goal and that should work if this is a brand new GA setup so it's not um, there like you know it, it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to verify it but you might see that the past seven days have multiple conversions so you just press save and then I would just go in and um, make sure that the contact form is working after that and you are good to go all right thanks